Hello everybody. Today I've been out and about in the sunshine. I planted a few things. So I wanted to paint this pretty kitty. And that's what I'm doing. Alright, so I wasn't planning on doing a painting or a live stream this evening, but I've had this cat in a garden, garden drawn up for a while on a 8x10 canvas and towards the end of the evening I was starting to just have spring fever I think and I really wanted to finally get this painted. Oftentimes whenever I'm about to paint something like this I give it sound effects so more than likely during the painting of these leaves on this bush I was going ticky 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 been having a lot of fun experimenting with painting flowers lately for instance to do these little roses I laid down red pink and magenta near each other and got each one on the edge of the brush and just did little spins on the canvas as I pressed them in on these oranges flowers I did in the background I was going for the look of a gladiolus or hollyhock um, I don't really feel like I achieved it very well, but it was fun to play around with a palette knife again. So whenever I started this painting, I did it with the full intention of doing just a solid black cat because it was going to be so colorful with the flowers already. I didn't want anything really distracting from the colorfulness of the flowers so I just wanted a black void in the center of the painting. I've always noticed that black cats, at least the ones I've ever had, have copper highlights to their fur. So that's the only highlight really this cat has is some copper. Um, I did do a slot gray indication for the nose and the whiskers but other than that he is he or she is a solid black void in a colorful garden. You'll notice throughout this painting I lay down new areas of white and that's just so that my colors show up on the painting how I want them to because without the white they wouldn't be as vibrant when I lay them down. So I've done it here on the eyes and you'll see me do it again later on a few other parts. Hydrangeas are my new favorite thing to paint yes because you can do them very abstractly with your brush and accomplish the look that you want for a hydrangea and they're just real fun to paint. I just lay down a few colors near each other and I dip my brush in and on these small ones I just spin it around.
I did go back through here and add some more red to my roses just because after getting all the other colors laid down they kind of lost their vibrancy so I just you see me going back through and adding some red and filling up some green areas with different types of flowers before I get to doing the foreground on this one. My original idea on doing this painting was just doing a cat in a garden overlooking a koi pond and I had difficulty accomplishing the look of the water I wanted to but I am happy with how the koi's turned out and the big daisy that's just right there to really give depth to the entire painting instead of just doing what I did with the koi pond and I just feel like you can travel through this painting better with the close-up of the daisy and the bee I add to it later on. If you remember the sketch of this painting in the beginning, you can probably notice that I changed up a few things that I originally had planned. Originally I had planned for two flowers on either front edge and just being able to see a single koi fish, well, that didn't happen. I decided to change it up and make the koi pond more prominent. And I also added quite a few what people would consider weed flowers, dandelions and daisies and whatnot. But yeah, a lot of this was last minute decision. And here I'm just laying a thin layer of blue back over the fish, so trying to show that they are underwater. I didn't accomplish it very well, but it's better than what they were. Um, the adding of the butterflies and bumblebees was last minute, but I'm very glad I did it because I already had so much texture going on in this painting with the flowers that I felt like just the cat wasn't enough as far as creatures in the painting. And this way I can carry the yellow color from other flowers to other places where it's just dark and not much is happening. So. I'm happy with my decision to add some bugs. Now 
here's the bumblebee, which almost became a spider, which, you know, I don't think a pretty spider would have looked bad, but I already had bumblebees going on in this painting, so I felt like one closer up would work best. Doing the bee's wings was a bit of an experiment. Um, I decided to use that white pen, uh, paint pen again, to kind of create the shine on the wings, but they weren't sh popping out as much as I would like. So after calling it quits on the live stream, I later went back in and added just very slight black outlines to that in water lilies to my pond, which I'm upset I didn't film on the live stream because creating the petals for that was very satisfying to palette Here my Here it is pond. finished. I don't really know what to call it. It was just something that resulted in it finally being a nice day here. So I hope you liked my painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do new ones every week. Please like, share, and subscribe. And my freaking air conditioner kicked on.